Today I'm going to show you a complete beginner's guide of the Philips Hue Smart Lights. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tips, tricks, and hidden features allowing you to leave this video as a Philips Hue expert. Let's get started. So you can see here I have a starter pack of the Philips Hue. We've got four light bulbs and a smart bridge inside. The Philips Hue devices here work with Alexa, Google Home, and Apple HomeKit. Let's dive into this box and see what we have. So we can go ahead and pull the box open and inside we're presented with three light bulbs on the front. So we'll, we'll go ahead and pull these out and put them on the side and see what else we have inside of the box. So on top we've got three light bulbs. We take this box out and we've got the Philips Hue bridge and then another light bulb making a total of four. So we'll take this fourth one out, put it onto the side. We'll take the bridge out. This is super important to connect to them. We'll talk about that in a second. And we'll see what else we have inside of the box here. So we can go ahead and pull out the packaging here and I'm also going to pull out this ethernet cable right here and put that to the side and then of course inside the box you got your Philips Hue personal wireless lighting a little get started quick start guide here that we can pull out and have all the paperwork necessary to get started with our Philips Hue so the legal manual the bridge and all the documentation required so let's go ahead and clear off the table and take a look at what was inside the box here. So we got light bulb one, light bulb two, light bulb three, light bulb four, the power connector, the ethernet cable, and the bridge. And that's what we have inside the box there. We also have this little connection here for our cable, our power cable. We just slide that on just like that and then we push down to release it. So that's how we connect our power, it just slides in just like that. And you push the button there to release it if you want to. So super cool that you can have this modular power cable. You plug this power cable right here into the back of your bridge. It goes in right there, just plug it in right there. And then you may be wondering, what's this ethernet cable? Well, you plug this also into the back of your bridge and then into your wireless modem that you have for your internet. So you do need a Philips Hue bridge in order for this to work. That's what powers and sends all the signals to each of the light bulbs. You plug the ethernet cable into the very back of your Hue bridge, just like that. And then in order to get these connected to your wireless network, you'll need to find access to the back of your wireless modem, which looks like this. So on the back of your wireless modem, you have a bunch of ethernet ports. And of course, you'll need to plug in your wireless modem. You'll need to have your internet connection connected successfully. And then you plug in the other end of this ethernet cord into the back of your wireless modem, just like this, to get ethernet access. So then it sends a signal from your wireless modem to the to the Philips Hue bridge right here and then allows you to wirelessly control the Philips light bulbs while using the app. So that's what the setup looks like. You'll plug this end into your power adapter, you'll plug in your, your modem, and then you'll plug in the ethernet port into the very back of your wireless modem and then you'll plug that into the bridge and that's what allows you to connect to your Philips Hue light bulbs wirelessly using the app. So once you've set this up successfully, you can go ahead and download the Philips Hue app and we'll take a look at what that looks like to connect our light bulbs. Now that we've got the Philips Hue bridge connected to our wireless network, we can head over to the app store and download the Philips app. So you just type in Philips Hue app and you search for it and this one right here the Philips Hue the official Philips Hue app you'll go ahead press the get button authorize with face ID or touch ID or enter your password and it will start downloading to your phone so this application will allow you to wirelessly control your Philips light bulbs from uh, the, the app and as long as you're connected to your Wi-Fi network you'll be able to get access to it you can check out the little previews here so control your whole home with the bridge You'll be able to see all the different lights and the different settings. Control one room with Bluetooth, and you can see the different scenes that they have. There are various different scenes that make it fun. Um, and then you can come over here, use scenes designed by experts to set the mood, 
or create your own scenes and select the color palettes that you want. You can automate your lights with automations for any occasion, sync your lights with Spotify, create entertainment areas, and use voice control. So tons of options here on the Philips Hue app. Let's go ahead and open it and set up our account and connect our bridge for the first time. So Hue would like to find and connect to devices on your local network. You're gonna to wanna to hit the allow button so it can talk to your Philips Hue bridge wirelessly over your local network. So you'll hit allow and over here it says welcome to Philips Hue. You can try the demo or you can get started. Since we already have it, let's go ahead and get started. And you'll need to accept the terms of use and the privacy notice in order to get started. Um, so you'll go ahead and hit continue and you'll need to create a Hue account in order to get started. So we'll go ahead and create an account and see what that process looks like. Um, if you have one already, you can log in and sign in, but it takes us to the website login.meethue. You select your country, we're in the United States, we'll hit next. And from here, we're able to sign in with Google or um, if we want to create an account, we can enter our email and password. So let's go ahead and make this process simple. All right, I've successfully entered my password in here and we can see it's creating our, creating our account, verifying it, and we've successfully logged in with Google. So complete your Hue account setup. You've used this email address for your Hue account. You'll go ahead and type in your name. So we'll do that. And then you'll agree to the terms of service again. And then if you don't want any Hue product emails, promotions, or events, you can go ahead and check that box and hit continue. So we'll go ahead and do that. It's signing us up and we have successfully created an account. So do you want your app to be customized? We can help customize your app based off the way you use our products and services, such as showing you different default light scenes based off the ones you use the most. So if you want it to be customized, you can say yes, continue, or if you don't want it to be customized, you can hit don't customize. We'll go ahead and say yes, continue. If you want them to reach out, things like new product announcements, product discounts, new features in the app, tips and recommendations, you can go ahead and press the blue button, yes, continue. Or if you don't, you can hit the button, don't reach out. We'll go ahead and say, don't reach out. And now it says, can our friends reach out? So the partners that they partner with, their friends, new product announcements, product discounts, tips and recommendations. If you want them to reach out to you through email, then you hit yes, continue the blue button. But if you do not want them to reach out, you go ahead and hit the don't reach out button. We'll select that for now. And now let's get started. If you want to modify your privacy settings in the future, you can always go to settings, privacy and messaging. So let's start the setup process of our brand new bridge. So hi, Justin, let's start. What kind of system would you like to set up? So you can say I have lights and a Hue bridge or I only have Bluetooth lights. So we have the bridge. We connected that to our wireless network. So we're going to select the, the first one. But if you do not have a bridge and you have Philips Bluetooth lights, you can select the second one. So we're going to select the bridge and it's going to process and allow us to connect to that bridge over the wireless network. So connect a Hue bridge, plug in your bridge to power, then use the included cable to plug in into your Wi-Fi router. And that's what you saw earlier in this video. We plugged the device into power and then we connected it to the back of our wireless modem and our wireless router. So your Hue bridge must be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as the mobile device for the Hue app to find it. So let's check our wireless network. We'll go into settings and then we'll go to Wi-Fi. And we can see that we're connected to Autumn right here. So this wireless network that you plug your bridge into must be the exact same wireless network that you're on on your mobile device. So we plugged our bridge into the Autumn wireless router and then we're connected to the Autumn wireless router on our phone. So if we slide back over to the Philips Hue bridge here, we can go ahead and press the search button and see if it can find that bridge that we successfully plugged up. So Hue Bridge found it's connected it successfully, but we have to press this button on our Hue Bridge right now in order for it to wirelessly talk. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's in the other room. I'm going to press the button and you'll see it automatically will connect. And just like that, I pressed the button on the Hue Bridge on the wireless network once it was powered on and connected to the Autumn wireless router and it automatically connected it to this phone because this is on the same Wi-Fi network. So connect it to your Hue Bridge. We'll go ahead, hit the continue button and we can start setting up our lights. But before we can do that, you have to update your Hue Bridge. It's a mandatory update for you to use your Hue Bridge and it can take about 10 minutes here. So let's go ahead and hit this update now button. We can turn on automatic updates to the bridge and we'll hit yes for that. So it always gives us the latest security updates and then also keeps our Philips Hue, you know, with the latest features. So preparing, please keep the app open while we 
update. So you'll just watch throughout this process, you'll wait a few minutes as it updates the bridge on the wireless network. And then after it's complete, we'll be able to continue and finish the setup process. All right, now it's prepared it. Now it's installing one of two. So your bridge may be unavailable for up to 10 minutes. You can leave the app and check back later without interrupting the update. Now it's preparing two of two here. Please keep the app open while we prepare the update. Now it's installing software update two of two. The Hue bridge may be unreliable or unavailable for 10 minutes. And then of course we'll need to um, check back in the app to see after it's completed the installation. So you can check back later without interrupting the update. Now that we've checked back in the app, the Hue bridge is up to date and your smart light set system is back online. So we can go ahead and hit the done option here and proceed. So now we're gonna connect to our bridge one more time. I've gotta go press that button on the Hue bridge to confirm and then it'll give us access to it. All right, now that we've pressed the button on the top of the bridge, it's allowing us to continue. We've activated and confirmed that it's the proper bridge that we're connected to and it asks us uh, what we would like to name this this bridge so Hue bridge needs a home what will we call it so we'll go ahead and call it app find and we can type in our name here just like this and then press done now the home is created the Hue bridge is now connected to app find just right there we see so we'll be able to go ahead and hit continue and add our lights to this bridge so really cool that uh, you know it makes a simple process to set up here so here's what we have, already known lights. We've got some lights that are already searched for that we can uh, you know, add, or we can go ahead and search again. So we'll need to connect the lights to the power source in order for them to be searchable. So let's um, try doing that and I'll be able to demo one live for you as we connect it to the Hue bridge. All right, so now we have a desk lamp here. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the Philips Hue light bulbs and screw it into the desk lamp just like this and then connect it to power. And from this, we'll be able to wirelessly see what this light looks like. You can see it shining just like that. We've got the power on. And now I can come here and hit search again. And um, it allows us to search for all of the lights that are powered on. So we just press the search button and it looks like one light was found. So we'll be able to say start configuration and a new light was found just like that. So all you have to do is just connect it to power and it can wirelessly detect where that light is. And you can see it changed it to the color of pink. Um, so here I can come in here and name this desk lamp. So we'll go ahead and hit the X button there and type in desk lamp. And then from here, it can say that it's a traditional lamp or if it's a ceiling round or recessed ceiling light. Then I can say whether it's on a table, a desk lamp right here, we can select desk lamp um, or a table wash. And they've got you know floor lights, ceiling lights, wall lights, other lights. So they've got you know a ton of different lights that you can connect here. Um, you just select which one best describes the one that you're currently connecting and um, we'll go ahead and hit done, just like this. So a new light's found, you can see it's changing the color there, just change it to orange. I can come in here and manually change the color, you know, yellow, green, blue, purple. So I've got this whole color wheel here, color picker that I can select and change the color to whatever I want. So it's really nice that I can wirelessly control this light right from my iPhone. This iPhone and the Philips Hue app is talking to the bridge that we connected to a wireless router, which is sending a signal to the bridge and allowing us to change the light color and access it right from our smartphone. So we've got the desk lamp set up just like this and we hit done. And now here's what we have. We've got desk lamp and then we've got these three other lights that we have not set up yet. So newly found lights. Uh, we'll say that's all, and then I can drag each light to a room. So we can go ahead and create rooms here. We'll start off and um, let's look at the types of rooms they have. We're gonna call this the office room, but they've got the living room, the kitchen, the dining room, the bedroom, kids bathroom, bathroom, nursery, office, guest room, toilet, staircase, hallway, laundry room, storage, closet, garage, other, recreation, outside, levels, and more. So you can name these rooms based off whatever you want. Uh, they've got some preset names here, or you can come up with a custom name at the very top there. So we've got office selected, we'll go ahead and hit done. And then I can go ahead and drag 
this light here after I hit the done button. Um, it says that it has zero lights under the office. So drag each light or multiple selected lights to a room. We'll go ahead and tap on this. It selects the desk light, but it's not allowing me to drag it for some reason. Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna revert that and try that again. So you should easily be able to tap on this and drag to the office, um, but it's not as intuitive. So maybe I have to click and hold or tap and hold. So that's how we can get access to the dragging. Today's sponsor is L Gear's three in one wireless charger that lets you charge your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone all at once, just like that. Has a nice sleek design for your desk or your nightstand, and it charges all three of your devices, your AirPods, your Apple Watch, and your iPhone all at the same time. Click the link in the description to purchase your 3-in-1 Gear charger, and you can get it set up charging your Apple Watch, your AirPods, and your iPhone all at the same time, just like that. And it sits really nicely on your desk or your nightstand. You can get it in a black version or white version, and it's really cool. You just slide on your Apple Watch just like that. You put your, your AirPods at the very bottom, and your phone wirelessly attaches just like that using MagSafe technology, and it looks super sleek and really nice on your nightstand. So check it out. Use the link in the description to get your 3-in-1 wireless charger today from L Gear there because if you select it very fast and try to drag it does not move at all but if you select and hold down then it lets you move so that's very important to know when you're dragging this into rooms when you have all your different lights here you want to tap and hold before you start dragging and that activates your ability to drag and then you can start moving it to the office or whichever room that you create it so we'll drag that move it to the office room and then select the done button so now that we've successfully moved all of our lights to the proper rooms, we've got this light turned on in the office, we're all set. So I can hit done and I can see on our home page here that the lights are on. If I wanna turn them off, I can just swipe that button right over to the left here and you can see the blue light turns off just like that. If I wanna swipe it on to the right, you can see the blue light turns right back on just like that. And this is the home version of your Philips Hue app. So anytime you open up the Philips Hue app, just by typing in Philips Hue, and you open up the Hue app right here, you're presented with the home screen where you can see all of your lights. If we were to connect the other three lights, they would be demoed right here, and you'd be able to see those too. We can control the brightness right here. Oh, just screw you know, taking the brightness all the way down to 1% and then all the way back up to 100%, just like this inside of the Philips Hue app, making it very easy for us to control the Philips Hue light bulb with a press of a button. So really cool that we can come in here and adjust the brightness. We can turn the light off and you can see it turns the light off just like that. We can turn it right back on and it turns it right back on. So really cool that I can come in here and adjust the different lights. The Philips Hue app has tons of features and we'll go ahead and start exploring those. We have right now the Home tab. Next up is the Automation tab and we don't have any automation set up right now, but you can also get automations from the Hue Labs, which has very much preset automations, or we can create our own automation. So we can wake up with the light, we can go to sleep, we can come home, leaving home, a timer, or we can create our own custom. Um, automation. So one of my favorite automations is to wake up with light. So as the sun comes uh, up, um, you can wake up, you can select whatever time you want to wake up here. We'll say 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. Lights will start brightening at 6.30 with a fade duration of 30 minutes. So here the lights will start to come on around 6.30. They'll fade in and then at 7 o'clock they'll all be on exactly at 7 a.m. So you won't have to flip the lights on in the morning. They'll already be on and they'll gradually, gradually turn on as if the sun was coming up. So it's really nice. You hit the next button here. You can say every light in your home if you select my entire home, or you can just go ahead and select the office right here. So we'll go ahead and select the office. And now what wake up style do you want? We can do sunrise where colors change and blend together to mimic the morning sky, recommend it for gradient lights, or you can fade to bright. White lights start out dim and then fades into full brightness. I like the sunrise, but you can select whichever one you want, and then you can name this automation. We'll go ahead and name it Wake Up. And just like this, 
we're able to set up our automation and create our very first automation in this home. So now every day, weekdays, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m., wake up, we'll have this automation happen. It starts around 6.30, we can tap in it, see all the details. We can see that the office lights will turn on. We can see what style they're in, the maximum brightness, the fade duration, and more. And you can come in here and modify that automation anytime you want. You can press this button to turn that automation off, or you can press it to turn it right back on. So Automations are a really cool way you can come in and play with your hue lights and create all types of different settings and different um, you know, automations to help improve your life and make it easier and to set up the mood perfectly. You know, there are other automations that you can add in here, for example, when you go to sleep or when you come home and more. Other, another really neat thing about the Philips Hue automation system here is they have the Hue Labs where you can test out early adaptions of products that they release into the Hue Labs before they hit the app itself. So you can come here and see all the different formulas they have and play with them and test them out before they actually implement them inside of the Hue app themselves. So it's kind of like beta testing. Um, they've got various different platforms here, whether you're working with outdoor lights or, you know, buttons and toggles and different devices that are required. So you can come here, see all the different, you know, labs that they have and install any one that you want. Um, so some of them, of course, do require accessories like this tap dimmer right here. Um, they've got autumn living scenes, festival lights and more. Um, so we can come here um, we've got a quick workout scene, which is interesting. We got a personal wake up scene. We can try it out just by pressing the little blue button there or the orange button there and it says now in the Philips Hue app. One easier way to use this formula set it up is a wake up automation. So it looks like this wake up automation that we set up earlier was originally tested out in the Philips Hue labs and now has made it to the app. So that's really cool because we just set that up to personally wake us up. And this is exactly the same thing here that was implemented to that. So we can scroll back here and see what other um, formulas we have. So formulas inside the Hue, Hue Labs, an easy and early way to test out features before they hit the app itself. And um, of course, some of them require different hardware and others do not. We can try testing out the living scenes here and see what that looks like. So living scenes, we'll be able to select different formulas here in color palettes um, and where we want it in our room. So we'll be able to scroll up here and see all of those details in order to set up this formula. So we can call this living scenes. The icon is little labs. And then we'll select tap. We don't have a tap, so we can't use tap or dimmer. So we'll do virtual because there's we don't have these actual dimmer or tap accessories. And then we'll scroll down. We can say a palette and we'll say this happens in the office and transition time between colors will increase the brightness up to like 80% and then we'll hit install. So now it installs this formula right onto our Philips Hue app and I can come in here and test out the living scenes by swiping that on and seeing the color options there. You see it changes at an 87% chance there um, and 87% brightness. So I can tap in here and get those Hue Labs controls. I can turn this scene off just like that. It reverts to what we were using before or I can turn it right back on just by tapping the controls and flipping the switch over to the green option. So you've got multiple options here for your living scenes and we can come in here and make modifications to those as needed. Uh, we can change the icon if we want, you know, to something, um, whether we want it in the office, if there's an office icon, I don't see one specifically. Yeah, there, there's one right there. We can select the office icon. We can change the brightness again. We can or change the transition time between colors, 10 minutes, five minutes. So however long, if we do one minute, or oh, we can do, do seconds. That may be easy to see. We'll go ahead and update. Um, so this will change the formula here a little bit. It'll update the living colors every 10 seconds. And once we turn this on, we'll probably be able to visually see this because um, once we turn it on every 10 seconds, it goes by very quickly and you can see those color changes instantly rather than waiting 10 minutes. Um, so we can come in here to the living scenes, tap on the settings again and see what kind of options we have here in the Hue Lab controls. So it's dinner party every, uh, it's at 87% brightness and we can see from the settings that we added earlier in the living scenes here. Uh, we can send feedback and what do we think? We can see that one time thingy is installed and we can go ahead and hit 
um, add new or we can edit those formula options just like that. So it looks like the colors are not changing specifically right now every 10 seconds. We can add a second one here or we can go back and modify the one we have. Let's turn this off. So this is a quick overview of Hue Labs where you can test out features before they hit the app. We can come in here to the Hue Labs controls and turn off the scene and revert back to our previous setting settings for the lights. And then of course we can hit the back button and go back all the way here to the automations tab. And here we've got our automations and then the option to access Hue Labs again. Next over is the sync button and you can sync your lights to entertainment. They've got various options for doing this, whether you want to sync your Spotify account, plug in a Philips Hue Play HDMI sync box, or use your Mac or PC in order to sync the content that's streamed on your Mac and computer to the lights in that entertainment area. And when you set up one of these options, you'll need to um, map out which lights are in that entertainment area. And then um, the Philips Hue app also, the Philips version for the Mac and PC requires an application that you must install. So you'll need to switch that on to your computer. And then once you install that, you'll be able to connect to your Philips Hue app and modify all the different settings. And then of course the Philips Hue Play HDMI box, you'll need to buy that separate box and plug in your media to that HDMI box through the connection port. And then it will you know, sync your lights to that media that it, it plays through that box. And then of course the Spotify app, you just authorize your Spotify and every song that you put on Spotify is changed to the lights and you can have, you know, kind of like a disco party or, you know, light party inside of your house using Spotify. So that's the sync option. You can sync your lights to the Spotify account and HDMI box or your PC or Mac. It makes it really fun to come in here and, um, you know, have fun and sync your lights to entertainment. Over on the next tab here, the fourth one, we have an explore tab where we can figure out what's new inside the Philips Hue. So all the new features that come out, we can check out the latest products, the Hue Tap Switch Mini White, some more lights, and uh, we can see all the different latest products. We can shop Philips Hue. We can come over here and see friends of Philips Hue, what works with Philips Hue. So we can see Apple HomeKit works, Alexa works, Google Assistant works and more. You've got different entertainment options that sync with Hue, Samsung TV, Spotify, and more. We've got different friends of Hue switchers, smart home devices. So tons of options here of what works with Hue. And of course, apps that they like and support where you can check out you know, various different apps that sync with Philips Hue products. So tons of different apps. You can come in here and scroll and check out that sync directly to your Philips Hue lights. And you can have your own little party with um, inside the apps. So definitely cool to check out the Explore tab. You can see relevant topics, learn new things about Philips Hue and more. Lastly, in the Philips Hue app, you have the settings where you can come in here and check out all the various different light settings, accessory settings, entertainment settings, connected to voice assistants and more. So this app is filled with tons of information. And of course you can connect to it to wirelessly control your lights. And it's pretty incredible. Let's take a look at what it looks like in a home with something like HomeKit connected to it. So on this device, we have the Philips Hue app and the Home app, and both of them are connected together. If we come in here inside the Home app, we can see all of the lights that are inside the home. And if we go to the settings over here, we can tap back to the main settings and go under voice assistance. You can see that we've configured Siri in Apple Home. So once you've configured this, you'll be able to access your Siri settings inside of the Philips Hue app, and then also control your lights inside of the home application. So you've got Siri and home, you can control your rooms, enable your favorite scenes, toggle your lights, change your brightness and more. So all you have to do is just press open the home app or you can swipe and find the home app. And then it's presented with all your lights inside of the Philips Hue app and also inside of the home app right here that we're taking a look at right now. So it makes it really cool that you can integrate these. You can also connect them to Google Home, Samsung, and all the different smart devices like Alexa out there. So you can control your, your lights with your voice. We can say, turn on the kitchen. And just like this, the kitchen lights turn on. Turn off the kitchen. And just like that, you can see in the background there, the kitchen lights just turned off. We can scroll over, we've got the office right here. We've got the left light in the office and the right light in the office. We can say, turn on the office. The iPhone charger is not responding. 
So it turns on the two office lights and we don't have the smart plug plugged in, so that's not responding. But it, just like this in the background, we've got those lights turned on. We can say turn off the office lights. And just like this, it will turn off the office lights. So really cool that you can use HomeKit in a Siri in order to access your Philips Hue lights right here inside of the app. You can come over here and set different automations also. We can see that we have a motion detection automation set. So, so when a uh, motion is detected under a motion sensor, the lights turn on. So we can enable this automation. And then we can come over here and see we've got one in the kitchen too. So we've got various different automations going on here in the home app that are using the Philips Hue devices. And we of course sync them over inside of the Philips Hue app just by going to our settings and going to voice assistant and configuring Siri and Apple Home. So it brings both of our, both of the best worlds here where we can use the Philips Hue app. Check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, where you can get a $30 bonus today when you sign up using the link in the description, appfind.org slash Rakuten. You can shop at your favorite stores with over 3,500 stores to check out, and you install the plugin, create an account on Rakuten, and earn cash back today. It's really cool that you can come here and get paid to shop, and of course you can earn your $30 bonus today using the link in the description. This helps out the AppFind channel a lot, so check out today's sponsor, Rakuten, using the link appfind.org slash Rakuten. And we can also use the home app at the same time in order to control our lights. So it makes it really easy to come in here and control all of this straight from your smartphone. So we can take a look at some of the settings inside here. If we were to come in here and look at our view system, we can look at some of the light settings. We can tap on that, see what the power on behavior is. Power on behavior is what happens when it connects to power immediately. And this also occurs when a power outage happens. So if the lights come on after a power outage, what is the default behavior for that light? We can tap on it and we can say by default, it's just be warm, white, full brightness. Or we can switch over to whatever last color it was set for. Or we can say power loss recovery, it stays off or on or turns back on. Or we can use a custom color and brightness setting there. So we can come in over here and choose those one by one for each of our different lights that we have in the house. You can see all the accessories. So we've got things like switches, light switches, and motion sensors in here. We can come in here and see all the details for those just right here inside of our app. We can set settings for these controllers. So what happens when you press the button? What room does it affect? What lights in that room does it affect? And what happens when you press it one time? What happens when you press it two times, three times, four times, and five times? And you can come in here and set different scenes. So one of my favorite things, if we go back to the home app and we look at a room such as the kitchen, we can see we've got three lights in the kitchen. We can come over here and add scenes with the press of a button. So you've got the natural light scene. You've got defaults, relax, reset, read, energize, concentrate, cold, bright, bright, nightlight, and dim. But they've got over a dozen different scenes here, and I wish I could dim mode them for you right here at the table but um, it's just blow it's mind-blowing when you have four or five lights and you press one scene all of those lights change different colors and create a beautiful looking scene a gorgeous scene that you can check out so we can come in here and you know select the blossom scene and it shows you the colors and then we can say set once just like this and then it automatically changes all the colors in the kitchen lights to that scene. So it's really cool that you can have beautiful scenes. You can adapt it based off the mood that you're in, what you want to see, the galaxy scene or the cocoon scene, the Miami scene, the still waters, mountain breeze. You can see the beautiful different colors that they have right here inside of the Hue Phillips application where you can select your scene for your various different lights and it automatically adapts that room and make it feel just like that scene. So it looks really nice and it's one of my favorite features of the Philips Hue system. So you can come in here and detect, you know, what happens when you press these buttons on the controllers, whether you want a specific scene to happen or whether you want the lights to turn on normally or whether you want something else to happen. So really cool that you can come in here and adjust all of that information right here in the settings alongside of the voice assistant settings and more. So this has been a complete beginner's guide here of the Philips Hue, showing you how you can set up your Hue bridge into your wireless router, connecting your lights for the first time, and then checking out things like automations and sync, and then being able to come over here and check out the settings within the Philips Hue app. This has been great creating this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let us know what your favorite feature of the Philips Hue system is 
in the comments below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to don't forget to press the subscribe button if you're not subscribed, and turn on that notification bell to figure out when we release our next video talking about Philips Hue and also technology and AI and all kinds of tech videos coming soon. We love creating this content for you, and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.